I really just want to share one thing with you that completely changed my entire journey, all right? Now, when you understand that you are here to do one thing and one thing only, you can finally let go a little bit more, finally unclutch, right? L loosen up that grip on reality itself, right? You've heard things like, I am the master of my reality. I create reality with my own thoughts, light and love, 5D, new earth, higher consciousness. Yeah, but... What are we experiencing right now in 2022? Are we really in higher consciousness? Are we really doing all of these higher consciousness things and light and love things? Or are we experiencing more matrix control? Are we talking more and more about conspiracy theories and getting into who did what and team red, team blue, yada, yada, right? I'm tired of all of it, okay? The number one thing that you have to understand is everything is energy. Everything is energy ruled by energy okay and the thing that i wish i would have understood a long time ago all right is you are here to just do one simple thing and that is to wake up <laughs> that's it now if you want to call that kundalini awakening and unblocking chakras if you want to call that i had a mystical experience or i saw yashua and jesus and krishna and buddha like all of these are just interpretations of us waking up and on the flip side of that, we have traumas, right? We all have emotions and very uncomfortable things that we have to experience as humans in order for us to wake up. Now, it took me a long time to say this. However, I'm going to say it. That is called grace. And I know it's not easy, especially if you're someone right now experiencing trauma, experiencing death in the family or a breakup or something that is really rattling your cage right now. You see, all of us through 2020 and forward through COVID, Omicron, these new levels of control and restrictions that we're experiencing, right, has forced us into more isolation, forced us into more neurotic tendencies, forced us into more lower vibrational habits. Therefore, the outcome, right, is self-reflection, contemplation. Asking questions like, what is really going on? What am I really here to do? Does that job really serve me? Does that relationship really serve me? <laughs> you see? And this is the great awakening. This is the purification of our consciousness. This is it right here. We're doing it <laughs> right now. It's exciting times. Now, all of us are here to do just that. Wake up. Now, when you understand this, you stop resisting the things that are there triggering you and waking you up. <laughs> whether it's this COVID, whether it's, you know, po political things, whether it's environmental things that are getting you riled up, whether you understand about chemtrails and the, the GMO foods and this toxic, horrible world that we live in and people and power and greed and corruption. I can go on and on. Whatever gets you so riled up to make you want to do something about it is where the journey begins, is where the real spiritual awakening begins. And I wish I would have just understood that everything, literally everything, down to the minute thought, down to the millisecond, right, is meant and designed for you to wake up. All those breakups, all that death in the family, all of those traumas, trials, tribulations are designed for you to wake up. Think of yourself as a chisel, right? This, this raw piece of steel. In order to manipulate that steel and create the chisel, right? You have to put it in the forge, put it in the fire. Now, here we are <laughs> in this beautiful fire that we call planet Earth, going through it, purifying, chiseling, right? Creating this diamond in the rough. You see this beautiful chisel out of just a junky, raw piece of steel. That's what we have to do. We have to transform. We have to be the alchemist, right? And in order to do that, you need gratitude. You need grace. You need humility. You need a little less suffering, <laughs> a little less clinging on to things, and a lot more letting go. And in order to do that, you need the clarity of exactly why it's happening. And that's what I'm going to tell you. It's happening because your higher self is making you do it so you can learn exactly what it's like to truly practice unconditional love and get into a higher vibration and get out of that lower vibrational thing that you were doing in the past. This is some deep, deep karmic stuff that is playing out through your relationships, through that interaction, right? And that confrontation that you had at the grocery store, at the person with the checkout lane or your significant other or your, your spouse, your brother, your sister, your mother, your father, whatever it is, that's happening because it needs to happen. And if it doesn't, you're only prolonging the suffering because the resistance is what creates the suffering. 
if you were just going through smooth, high on life, just loving it, right? Sailing in these open waters, there would be no resistance. There would be no suffering whatsoever. And you would actually enjoy it because you'd be in that higher vibratory place, which is right above gratitude, right above neutrality. We have gratitude, empathy, compassion, you see? Having compassion and empathy for other souls that are stuck in that matrix control. Having more energy for them instead of judging them. That's what we truly need right now, especially in 2022. Getting away from the separation consciousness, getting away from those conspiracy theories, getting away from who did what, Joe Biden, Team Red, Team Blue, none of this matters. The only thing that matters is you and your spiritual path, you and the spirit, your connection with spirit. What are you doing to strengthen that? That is above all else right now as we navigate these waters and go deeper into the unknown in 2022. Welcome to the next level into the matrix game, the next level into 5D new earth as we pave through the fire and truly illuminate the darkness. That's what it's always been about, everybody. So the more you can understand and perceive beyond that matrix control and beyond your ego getting caught over and over again, the more you will actually be able to understand the levels of the game that you're playing at. And boom, upgrade after upgrade, you start playing these new bosses, right? And you upgrade to the next level. And again and again, here we are communing and experiencing that higher vibratory plan. And it's awesome right? <laughs> because yes, it's difficult when you're going through it and you can't say it's awesome when you're going through that breakup or that, you know, person in your family died because you really cared about them and there's love there and you need to go through that mourning. You need to go through those emotions in order to get to the end and experience the upgrade. Remember, it's about the journey, right? It's not about the destination. It's about the now, the eternal now moment manifesting right here in this moment you and i connecting listening it's happening for a reason trust that energy trust that thing that brought you here and know that it guided you here for a reason all right and until next time infinite love always infinite peace i'm out <laughs>